is a an outgoing person. She's a, a gregarious type person. She's uh, out there. She enjoys being out there. She enjoys life. She enjoys companionship. She enjoys comfort. Okay. Uh, you broke up for a week. She went looking for that companionship and that comfort. Because that's what she needed. She found it. Okay, a week later. No. She wanted to come home. Okay. Her companionship and her comfort was at home. All right, she came home. She needs that companionship. She needs that comfort to be Sierra. So you have to give her that companionship, that comfort. You have to walk in, put your arms around her, and say, I'm sure glad you're here. You know, I'm glad you're here. I love you. That's what she needs. That's her nature. You have to back up and look at the person and uh, figure their nature first. What do they need to be who they are? Your dad uh, didn't really need a whole lot of friends. He didn't need a whole lot of companionship. He didn't need a whole lot of uh, early mucks or roosters or any of that. He didn't need nightlife. That was not his thing. That's not how he worked. Okay? That was your dad. Now we're talking about Sierra. Right. She's a different person. You have to accept she's different. You have to accept that she is there because she wants to be there. Not because she has to be. Right. But because she wants to be. I know here lately she's taken a lot of crap from me. I will say that. She has stuck around. She's taken a lot of crap. And I've taken a lot of crap too. Yeah. Her. You know, and it, it's just... You know, thank God that Richard is my son. You yeah. Know? Thank God that that nine months of me going going through, not knowing that he he was or wasn't my son, and then I come to find out that he really is my son. Got a test done and all that stuff. Yeah. You know, and, and it's like thank God that I stuck around and fought through it. Yeah. But in another aspect of it, it's like it hurts that I even went through those nine months not knowing it. Yeah. You know, it's just, you know, I, I'm so glad that he is my son. Yeah. You know, it, it's just, but you have to learn to accept Sierra for what she is, not for what you want. Right. But for what she is. The person she is. The nature she is. 
You've got to accept those things. You have to walk in and hug her neck. Tell her I'm sure glad you're here. You know, make her feel apart. If you don't, she won't be for long. She'll go find that companionship. She'll go find that joy. She'll go find that happiness. So give it to her at home and you don't have to worry about her looking elsewhere because she's got it at home. definitely going to give, give it a try because to me she is worth it. Yeah. Well, you've got to thank her every day. I'm so glad you're here. You know, how was school today? What's she studying anyway? Uh, beautician. Oh, okay. That's a real job. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there for a long time, her hands were hurting. Her back was hurting. I think she, I think her body's starting to get more used to it now. Well, she's still on her feet all day. Right. That didn't help. Yeah. <coughs> and without real good shoes. That's what I was about to say too. Is I can't get that girl to wear tennis shoes. She wants to wear, you know, these thin old shoes that held no support. And it would help her a lot if, on standing on her feet if she'd wear some tennis shoes. Yeah, it would. Ask her to try it for a week. Just try it for a week. You don't have to like it, just try it for a week. If it works, go ahead and do it. If it doesn't work, go back to your flats. Yeah. I mean, it's up to you. I want you to feel good. I want you to enjoy. See if it'll help. If it will, you're much better off. Yeah. If it won't, you've lost a week. That's all. That's a way to do that. My friends would come to the location to know that I have to take experiments. It's almost eight o'clock.